think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. Hello, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming to join me in this video. And I want to thank you all for joining me in my group and supporting me with my garden journey. I'm looking forward to so much, you guys. You know. You know. You're all <laughs> gardeners. You know the thrill, right? But I came here today to talk about a couple things with y'all. First, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to you all for um, not putting up anything for you to enter into the December cover contest. We have the cover contest every month. So every month, if you upload a picture of your garden with the hashtag cover contest for whichever month that it is, the picture that gets the most likes is the picture that is chosen for the um, group cover for that month. So I wanted to touch on base with that with you guys first and apologize. I've been having a lot going on. So I kind of thought I posted about it, but a, a member reminded me. I didn't post anything about December. <laughs> Terrible. So I want to apologize and I will post something about it with this video. And I, I'll keep constantly posting throughout the month to encourage you guys to enter your pictures of your gardens. You work so hard for your garden. Don't be shy, you know, and not want to show it off. It doesn't matter if it's an extravagant garden. That's what you worked for. If you've been gardening for 10 years and your garden is beautiful, you deserve for people to see that. You put a lot of work time and love into that garden even if you've been gardening for a year because a lot can grow in a year and you can do a, so much in a year share your garden you know don't be shy to oh don't worry about anybody else just share your garden share your pictures of your garden you working hard and a lot of time us as gardeners our friends and family think we are weird or that we have some type of problem because we love to grow plants and flowers you know and it's just like no i just love Growing things. <laughs> Get a grip, okay? But anyway, that was one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is encouraging you guys to be active in the group. And here is why. Okay, most of you know, my other Facebook page got shut down. It slowed down all my videos I was making and everything. Facebook probably does it to any of you if you have pages or um, groups that ask you to boost your posts and you pay them so much money and they boost your videos and stuff to get views I have never done that I've never paid for that so my video the views that I've been getting on my videos are natural so I'm assuming that because of the amount of videos that I'm getting on my stuff and by me not paying any fees or doing anything like that to boost my posts, that that's why they keep shutting my page down. I'm just <laughs> assuming because I'm not, I'm getting views. People have given me things and donated things to me, even though Facebook is not supposed to be like that, you know. Um, <clears throat> I guess they feel like if I'm going to get, any type of anything they want to get something too right they did get something out of the uh fundraiser though because they took their portion before i even get mine right well anyway they so they closed down my pages so i posted a video the other day it wasn't even my video it was a video that already had millions of views and it was about a gentleman who was planning he had little means, but he started a garden in his neighborhood, and he was able to start feeding his whole neighborhood over time. I shared that video, and I shared it in a couple other groups. Facebook unpublished my fan page. Chrissy's Garden is no longer published. So all I have now is just the group. They did say that they would run it back, you know, open my page back up after so much time, but they keep on doing it. And after I lost all my pictures and stuff on my last page, you know, I'm kind of leery of this. Like, you know, I don't want to post too much because I had this page for 10 years and I don't want my stuff shut down. Now, before I ever, you know, I don't even have a thousand followers in my group or on my fan page. 
But I've seen people before on Instagram and on Facebook, you know, and their videos come across before and they were crying about their pages being shut down and they had made up a pretty good I guess platform for themselves on these social media sites they had gained a lot of friends a lot of uh, people who were supporting them and helping them you know and so their pages were getting shut down and I seen them crying and everything I couldn't understand because I never had that happen right well so that's what's been going on with me and I'm not crying about it but i'm very reluctant to post i'm very scared to um post too much you know too many videos or my youtube videos and stuff you know i'm very scared because i don't want my facebook page to get shut down before and if it does get shut down there's nothing i can do but i just want to make sure i get all my pictures and stuff off of here first <laughs> So, that was what I wanted to let you guys know. What was going on and why I'm not posting as much as I was. But I want you guys to post. Y'all post. Be active. It's our group. It's not just my group. It's our group. So, post. Post your garden pictures. Post your uplifting quotes. Your positive stuff. Anything positive. You got a promotion. You just had a grandbaby. Hey, share that stuff too. You know? We all in this together. And we should all be happy for whatever achievements and um, positive things that's happening to our group members in their life. We should be there to support them. I take this group very seriously, you know, as far as being positive and supporting because a lot of people don't have anybody, you know. And you don't know, you don't know what people are going through behind these computer screens. And, and, and you just see them, like you just see me here, oh, life is wonderful. But you don't know. You don't know, you know, so we're all going through something. Be uplifting. And then the last thing I want to say is take those hands. Lift those hands up. Look at them. Kiss them. Thank the almighty creator that created all things for these hands. If you ain't got hands, thank God for your feet. That you can walk and run and do whatever you can with those feet. And if you ain't got hands... Take a breath. Thank God for being able to breathe freely, easily. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Plant a seed, grow a flower. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you all. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for your kind words. Thank you for being here with me, even looking, lurking, whatever you're doing. I thank you for the love, and I thank you for the hate. <laughs>